during the home visit. <laughs> It's a little warmer. You know, first, I, well, welcome to the barn. So I don't, like I said, I don't normally have a lot of people here, but uh, you know, it's a, it's an honor for me to to be named an ambassador to Rolex. Um, that really made me feel like a like a top professional athlete, and. Um, you know, that's, all, that's always been a dream of mine. Um, Rolex has been in the equestrian sport for, for 50 years, and they're partnered with some of the, the greats of our sport and the great venues of our sport. And um, to be a part of that team is, is really special for me. It shows their, their recognition of achievement and, uh, and the dedication to the future. And uh, very proud to be a part of that team. <laughs> this is the lounge. Right here. Team or the the starting lineup. So that's that's why we're missing a couple because this is a this is a big week at WEF. This is a five star week. So uh, Willow and and Blue Angel are both are both at work at the show. Um, this is Gazelle. This is an up and coming horse that I that I have. She's nine years old. I think she's going to start doing the Grand Prix this year. Um, and this is where Blue Angel and Willow stay, but like I said, they're at the show right now. Um, this is Voyeur, who I rode at the, at the World Championships uh, and at Aachen. Uh, he also competed at, at Calvary this summer. He won the, he won the Queen's Cup. Um, and this is sort of his you know, his running mate here, Yuseko, he's been a, a long-term partner for me. I've had him since he was seven. He's, he's won Grand Prix all over the world. He won the, the five-star at Barcelona this year. And uh, he also won the, the 400,000 Rolex Grand Prix in, in Calgary. Um, those two are kind of on a, on a little rest right now. They had a big year last year. And uh, I'm probably going to show Voyeur, just the, the final week here at WEF and sort of a, a warm up for the spring and, and try to have him on form for, for Aachen again. Uh, they're, in, they're in light work. I mean, they had, a, they had a heavy show schedule last year, so, you know, that was part of the design of my farm was to, to really have downtime. You know, the, I spend a lot of time here in Florida, so I use it more as, as spring training for my, for my young horses to, to build them up. and. Uh, and you know, try to have a, a big horse for a couple of the big classes. But you know, if I have a good opportunity to give these guys some some time off from the from the show ring, then I'm going to take it. So now's a good time for them to go on the paddock, and you know, they exercise on the track on the on the other side, and and that's pretty much life right now for them. They they got it easy. Uh, Voyeur might show at the very end here at, at WEF, uh, maybe for the 500. Um, and Yuseko, he'll probably wait. His first show will be in the, in the spring in Europe. If you guys want to come inside, this is, uh, this is our tack room. Yeah. Wow. My idea in in horse riding was always to, to make it like Formula One. You know, this is really a, a, a team sport and not just with me and the horse, but with my entire, with my entire staff. And that they're, my, they're my pit crew and they're the, they're the people behind the scenes that are really doing a lot of the heavy lifting. And so I always had a vision of, of how to have everything really organized. And the attention to detail, I think, can make a difference in, in the performance, even if it's a, a tiny amount. Um, so you can see I have the stable organized for 20 horses, and I have 20 saddles, and I have 20 places for horses, a show bridle and a work bridle, depending on what they're doing each day. Um, I've had some very difficult horses in, in my career and some horses that, that other people didn't want to ride, so I've, I have a huge collection of bits. <laughs> uh, Would you mind standing? Uh, 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 yeah, sure, sure. So, 
you know, I always like going to the to the tack shop, and I always had a million bridles, and so I always thought, you know, I really need to have that. And whenever I had a a horse that I couldn't ride, and I'd always be trying to think of a new way to make him go better or to try a different bridle, so I decided that uh, you know I'd have my own tack shop at home, and I would just find every bit that I could and have it organized in a way that I could I could find it when I when I need it. So that was that was the idea. And then um, behind you guys is our is our cleaning and and laundry area. Um, also there for all of the horses, I have 20 boxes, uh, so each horse has its own pair of boots, so there's no confusion on, uh, on who's wearing what. Um, and these are obviously in industrial machines, we do a lot of washing, as you can tell I like things very clean, so uh, you know I'm really a stickler for that. Um, my team's very organized, this is our, our storage room in the back, we have 20 boxes each for the horses for the winter blankets and and shipping things and, and stuff like that. Yeah, I was kind of a strange kid, you know. I, I was very organized. Uh, my room was always super clean. I was I was just like that. So it's extended into your Yeah, it's, 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 it's some things haven't changed. So.